Do you own a BMW i3 with the range extender and live in a state where you need to pass emissions? If so, this video is for you. Simple car guy here and today I will show you how to check if your car will pass emissions without going to the test center, what to do if one of the systems isn't ready and how to manually start the range extender turning on emissions mode. If you have ever gotten a message on the screen of your BMW i3 telling you that the range extender will run soon, this is because you haven't run the range extender in a while and the car has to check the systems to make sure it's emission compliant. Even though BMW i3 is an electric vehicle at heart, the range extender technically makes it a plug-in hybrid and we must adhere to the same laws as other ICE cars. Of course, if you use your engine on a regular basis, you probably have not seen this message at all, but for those that rarely use it, I would recommend using up the entire gas tank every couple of months and refilling with fresh gas to avoid having to go through the process I will be showing in this video. So what do you need to do before you go to the test center? Well, if you have been using your range extender, you are most likely fine to just go for the test. But if you haven't used it in a while, it's worth checking to make sure that the systems are ready. What happens is that if the engine hasn't run in a while, it will mark related systems such as the O2, EVAP, and the catalytic converter systems as not ready. One not ready system won't necessarily fail you, but more than one is almost a guaranteed failure at the center. So let's see what it actually looks like on a scanner. So I'm using this Innova 5610 that I just reviewed. So what I'm just gonna do is click on this uh, button right here. Click on that and boom, right away, it's telling me that all of the systems look fine, which is good. But if you want to know more about what each one of these systems are and what they mean, what we can do is go to the main menu here and go to the drive cycle procedure right there. Complete monitors. Yes. And here we actually see the details. So we have all the systems that are being checked on this BMW i3. First one is the misfire monitor, fuel system monitor, oxygen sensor, as I mentioned earlier, comprehensive component monitor, oxygen sensor, heater monitor as well, catalytic converter, EVAP system, and well, that's it. So if you have a more, you know, ice oriented car with a combustion engine, you will most likely see a couple of other ones, but on this BMW i3, these are all the systems that have to be ready in order for you to pass emissions. Of course, if you don't have one of these scanners, you can get a much, much cheaper scanner that will do basically the same thing as far as the IM readiness check. And I'll link uh, some of them in the description so you can check those out and buy them if you like. So luckily for me, all of the systems have passed and I have the green check mark for basically all of them. So that means I can go to the emission center and get the car passed. But what if you get a yellow one? Well, what you have to do then is follow this procedure I'm gonna show you now, which will start your range extender manually and run it for about 20 minutes. This will warm up the engine and then it will be able to check all of the systems to make sure you are either ready or have failed for that system. Your battery must be under 75% in order for this to work. With the tailgate open, let's go through the entire procedure from within the vehicle. Step one is to turn on the ignition. So I'm just gonna press start and the ignition is basically on now. Second, we're gonna depress the accelerator pedal all the way down within 60 seconds. So press and hold, and at the same time, press the brake pedal three times. So one, two, three, let go. And as you can see, we get a message here that says emission inspection mode activated. Now I can release the accelerator pedal, press the brake and press start. And as you just heard, the range extender has started. And that's it, it will now run for 20 minutes or until it has well used up all of the gas or until you've reached 75% charge of your vehicle. So you definitely wanna make sure that your charge is below 75 and let it run until everything's warmed up and it will check all of the systems for you. The side effect of running the range extender in the emission mode is that it will actually charge up your battery. So it's not 
wasteful. At the same time, you can plug in your scanner and check to see if the car has checked the systems and you know, you may not need to run it for 20 minutes. Maybe it just needs five or 10 minutes if you've used it recently, just maybe not long enough. Once you're done, you just stop the car and everything turns off. The car turns off as well as the range extender. Once the vehicle has done its testing, there are only two possible results. You either get a green pass or a red fail. So you will no longer see not ready. So your system will you know, get tested and definitely tell you whether it will pass or not. If you see any failed items and think that you can clear the codes and then just go for the test, that will not work. Do not erase any codes on the car and then go and try to pass the emissions. It will simply fail you as all of the systems will go into the not ready state. And of course you will not pass emissions. And of course, if you do have an issue on the vehicle, make sure the issue gets fixed first, then you erase the codes and then you run the range extender until all of the systems are checked again, or, you know, go for a very extended drive. After a quick run to the emission center, we now have the result. And as we can see, it shows very much the same systems and the same information as our scanner did with the same ready and not ready or not supported language. So here we have all of the systems that I showed you earlier. And we have those exactly the same systems here as well. Of course, this car does not support, you know, certain systems and that's fine. If it says not supported, that means you're not being tested for it and you will be fine. However, if we did see not ready here or failed, I believe it's more than one that has to fail in my state, but it probably depends on your state, then we would have failed, right? But as we can see, we have passed and the car is ready to drive for another year. Well, I hope this video has helped you pass emissions on your BMW i3 or at least understand what to look for and how to get the systems in the ready state. And if you are new to this car, why not check out this video where I go into details on all BMW i3 common problems and how to avoid costly repairs in the future. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.